welcome back to my channel today i've got a little natural looking summer makeup tutorial well it's not really a tutorial but i'm showing you how i do mine it's really like a natural look it's not too in your face in the summer i don't wear makeup unless i'm going out or i have to so most of the time i've got a bare face anyway but this is what i would do if i'm like going out for the summer thanks for watching and stay tuned start off with my eyebrows and the key to a natural eyebrow is to do a skin tone concealer on the top of your brow and a lighter concealer at the bottom <laughs> During the summertime you want a glowy look without the oil so I've made this myself and yeah it gives you the glow without the oil. Fenty Beauty is still my fave, it is a little bit red because I do change skin colour, I do become a little bit cooler in the summer but this is okay the key to a natural look a natural base is to add a little bit at a time those of you who are slapping your foundation on your face <laughs> i don't know how you do it but i just use a little bit at a time and it just makes blending so much easier <laughs> Do not use a lot of foundation like this on my forehead and I only use a little bit and I blend it upwards because my forehead is actually quite a lot darker than my face so I find that if I just use too much foundation I've changed the colour of my forehead so, <laughs> so yeah normally I don't do that but I just wanted to try it today to see. <laughs> Most people use beauty blenders to blend their foundation now i use a big like dense foundation brush like a buffing brush and the more you buff it in like the more seamless it looks like i just love it and this is why you only use a little at a time so that it can actually melt into your skin this is my favorite mac concealer it just it makes me look wonderful <laughs> It's in the shade NW45 and it's not the Pro Long Wear because that's full coverage. This one is very sheer but for the summer and for a natural look it's just the best because it just it just sinks into your skin like it's so natural looking. <laughs> always add more I usually go on top if I feel like there's not enough like coverage and yeah it just gives me a natural finish don't use a setting powder like a traditional setting powder I use a foundation powder and I use it in a kind of brown color and it works for me and it sets my face pretty well and I start on my cheek and I bring the powder upwards into my crease you don't want to start in your crease area because it just it's too much powder <laughs> my moustache my chin and my forehead 
and I also go on my nose and in between my eyes because I sometimes miss that area. I use the mineralized skin finish to kind of balance out the color a little bit because even though the foundation powder is like brown it can still leave an ashy cast so before I use the setting spray I always go in with the mineralized skin finish to balance out the color a better way to also balance out the color is to use the MAC foundation powder because that's more full coverage and then I use MAC in raisin and yeah sometimes it doesn't work but we just keep on adding <laughs> Fenty highlighter is so good I'm yet to try the more pink tones because it's a little bit yellow for me but I still like it and I use this really soft highlighting brush to add that on my face <laughs> basically um it's like a super setting spray so it, like it holds everything in place and it's really strong so this is what i recommend and your makeup will not move 